Mudded intestines. Mudded intestines. This is the first for me. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been here in Chennai, India with my good friend T-Pak and basically tonight what we're doing is we're trying mud coffee. What is mud coffee? They just heat the coffee with the help of mud. They with won't the use the fire. So yeah, it's just heated heat up with mud? They'll heat the sand and they'll keep the cup on the top of the sand and they'll heat the coffee. They'll what? Try, and they'll serve you with the pot. That's, that sounds interesting. <laughs> and then from here, we're gonna go eat a Tamil Nadu dinner. And what is that? What, what can like you... a Chetinado type of. Uh, Chetinado? Chetinado. Okay. Chetinado is a place. Like, uh, these are like Chetinado dishes we are gonna try to so, But the local dishes? Yeah, like the local dishes. Yeah, a big spread. Yeah. Like a lot Tamil, of food. Tamil Nadu dishes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So let's go inside and drink some coffee. So if you see about mud coffee, uh, it's been like a dream for me for a pretty long time. So normally in South Indian filter style, we just pour the filter, pour the milk, we just drink it up. We don't normally brew the coffee. But in Turkish style, they brew the coffee entirely in mud itself. So that is the concept I took over in the South Indian filter coffee side. So it's like a fusion between Turkish coffee brewing process and South Indian filter coffee. So that is how the mud coffee started. And I didn't want to have any plastics or paper cups uh, in my designs. So I thought of uh, another option. The only option I had was the muds. So which is much more environment friendly and which is much more traditional to our style of culture too. So we'll get a difference while drinking it up. So I added much more varieties in, it, in the coffees too. So which you get only in the higher coffee shops and non, not in the normal uh, small food side, roadside kiosks. So I wanted to introduce all the varieties which people love too. So you do give a try and do let me know how you feel about it. So here we have the famous mud coffee. So the way it works is basically this little cup right here is called, it's made out of mud, right? They brew the coffee, so they don't filter the coffee, they brew it right here in sand. And then they have some like secret ingredient that they put inside here, and this is like a hazelnut coffee. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like a chocolate milk. Oh, wow. It's sweet. It's basically chocolate milk. That's like the best comparative. Mmm, it's still a little hot. Oh, even the mud like cup is hot. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Like, this is exactly what I need right now to wake up. It's 6.30, we have dinner. Let's do this. Dude, really good, really good. David, this mud coffee is incredible. I've never had it before. So sweet, it's like a dessert coffee. You could just drink this any time of day, man. Any time of day. Sure. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think, like, what should I say? <laughs> I'll drink the rest of yours. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Basically hot chocolate. Here we go, now let's go eat some Tamil food. Let's go eat, man! Oh my god. I'm ready for it. Ready for it. We can't stop eating. We won't stop eating. Let's do it. Uh, okay. Sam, are you Sam, are you ready to eat? No. All right, so we arrived here at dinner at Tambi Villas. This place has been in existence since 1959. So it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a little while. Over 70 it's slightly years. Old, right? Slightly older than us, for sure. <laughs> is that 70 years? Yeah, it's 70 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat a lot of non-veg food, and they also have some delicious desserts. They have like an old style feel inside, like really old school. I think it's like 1950s in there, 1960s. That's the first thing you notice when you walk in. Exactly. It's got, it's got a cool atmosphere and yeah. And yeah, we brought our appetites again, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, we're hungry. Okay. I don't know what it is. We eat all day, but we can keep oh, going. Oh my gosh, uh, we're, we're crazy, we're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go inside and eat. To start our meal tonight, we're trying some goli. Goli soda. Goli soda. Basically, this is like a water soda, right? And on top, there's like a ball, and I have to pick my finger in it. Ready? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Hear that? Now we open, now we can drink the. And I can drink it? Oh, it's like lychee water. Yeah. Lychee. Mmm, fantastic. I'm a big fan of lychee. Oh, this is amazing. It's like super refreshing. <laughs> this is the expert right here, boy. 
<laughs> this drink is phenomenal. Yeah. Like, oh, next level. Thank you. I needed something like rose milk, and this is the next best thing. Can you believe this? We have 20 dishes here. Most of these I have never tried. That's how diverse India is. What is this? I mean, it's a mix of mutton, fish, roti, biryani, sauces. Kota burotas. Kota burotas. Yeah. Oh my god. How do we start? I mean, you want to, I mean, I'm not asking it to name all these. It's too many. Let's just start. Where do we go? Uh, these are all my favorite. And <laughs> what are you going to start with? I mean, I want to start with one of these little prawns right here. Yeah. Get a few of these. Oh yeah. Good. Mm, it's like super dry prawns, a little salty. It's not a curry, but it's almost like a masala, yeah, right? Masala. Curry leaves. Yeah. So I'm gonna try with curry leaves. Yeah. Love it. Can we go to the leg one? The leg? Chicken leg. Chicken leg right here? Yeah. Oh my god, look at this guys. <laughs> this is so good. So tender, a little juicy, a mm, little bit of fat too. Oh, and the masala as well. This is just like, what is up with this food? And you come to this restaurant often? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's my favorite. Your favorite? Yeah. Thanks for bringing us, dude. <laughs> you like the brain, right? I love that the brain. like jelly, right? Mud and fried brain. Another super exotic <laughs> food here in Chennai. Oh. Know, this is going to be your favorite one. Oh, I know. Let's go. Jonathan, right? This is the best dish in Chennai. <laughs> best dish. This brain, it's almost like a, like a cubed butter ball, right? Full masala, curly. Very hot, like very hot. I don't know if it's that hot. It must be the mix of all these already, you know, like it's an explosion. I've been having so many spicy dishes these days yeah. tonight. I didn't know that the South had this many spicy dishes. It's incredible. Mutton boti. This is pretty scary. Mutton intestines. Mutton intestines. This is the first for me. Oh, I love it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah. Pop it. Dude, I can't wait any longer. Give me more. <laughs> Good. After trying that, I believe you can eat every part of the mud and body. <laughs> mm. It's like super gelatin, and then a spicy masala. But the thing is that each one of these has a different type of curry. So it's like, they're all a little different. Obviously curry, it's always spicy. Curry leaves, mmm. But that intestine, the intestines and the brain. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. I'm going to give you the kalaki. The kalaki. Because uh, we can't leave this for a long time. Okay, let's do it then. Yeah. Just, no, you can't just cut it out. Okay. Because you have to go in one go. One go, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. So egg, omelet, and gravy, it's yeah. pretty big. We said go. One, go. one big go. Look at this, how big. What? <laughs> one go? <laughs> I think you were lying. You're playing a trick on me. Mm. Yeah, man. Scrambled egg with mud and sauce. Mm. That was a mud and scrambled egg. <laughs> Squid fried. Squid fried? Yeah. Okay. Just dive into it. I get some of this. Oh, man. You want like with lemon? Yeah, let's go with lemon. This is basically like having calamari. No? Oh, right there. Super small calamari. Mmm, nice and crispy. Mmm. Oh, this is like phenomenal. I won't stop with this. Can you imagine spicy calamari? That's what this is. Oh, that's a winner. Okay, so the chest. This is the roast one and this is the gravy. Wow, this is the chest of the mutton. Oh, it's so good. So fatty. Mmm. The best mutton I ever had. Best mutton piece ever. Okay, so here we have mutton balls. Mutton balls with spices. Good. Too good. <laughs> very mushy, very complex, lots of flavor. Mmm. Dude, I can just pop them, like non-stop pop them. I love Chennai, man. <laughs> I'll just try one of them. Mmm, fish. Mmm. The 
it's called uh, netli fish, netli fry. So it's a small fish yeah. fried. You can actually uh, uh, eat with the bowl, no problem. Mm, I like that. Mm. So basically that was like a super small fish, like a sardine, fried, lots of spices, you eat the whole entire thing, all the bones. You can taste the bones, but obviously, I mean, yeah. but the fish is small, all the bones go down very easily. Oh, I love it. I mean, it's not as good as the mutton. Mutton nali. Yeah. And what is this? You have to take it hand right Take my hand, okay, let's do it by hand again. Oh, God, look at this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So much meat. Wow. Good. Wow. Oh. This is really the best part of the mutton. Not the fat, spices. It's so different. It's like every every dish has a different spice. Yeah. And that's the cool thing about India is that here there's like I think it's like a thousand, two thousand spices. And usually dishes have between five and five hundred spices. So you can imagine the taste here. Yeah. There's chicken uh, salna. There's like a paratha. Yeah, this paratha is like a dip in like inside uh, there's a gray for long time. Wow. Okay, so this is basically like one of these, like a porota, which is like a parada, with like some gravy on top and chicken. Mm. The gravy is, it has been absorbed into the parada. Yeah. And the chicken just gives it an awesome extra kick to it, because it's also really spicy. Yeah. Nice and tender. Mmm. And we also have this with mutton, right? Yeah, that is the mutton one. Oh, we have the mutton one next yeah. to it? Ah, oh, that's gonna be better. I'm sure it's gonna be way better. Okay, so here we go. Let's dive in. Oh, wow. This one's way better. Like, dude, next level stuff here. This dish I've never seen before. Oh. It's hard to top the brain and the intestines. This one might have done it. So let's go with this one. What's this, like liver? Yeah, this is called mutton chuka. Mutton chuka? Mutton chuka. It looks like liver. No, this is not liver, this is like a meat, mutton meat. Is it? Yeah. Mm. But it does have a consistency of liver, I mean. Yeah, yeah, only it's, the it's, meat. It's like a little little cube, very soft, basically very buttery. Mm. And you also have like small tomatoes. That's not tomato. No? No, there's a chili. The chili? Yeah. What? Yeah, this is uh, chicken. I don't want any more chilies, dude. I'm, I'm like, I'm overheating already. <laughs> My lips, are they red yet? Next, we'll try the kutu parota. Yeah, okay. you, you look like you're on fire a bit. <laughs> I really am. Yeah, you can take and you can dip it with whatever the gravy you like. It. Like you can dip it with this gravy. Okay. This is called kutu parota. Hmm. Basically, it tastes like turkey stuffing on Thanksgiving. Wow, stuffing. Yeah. Good. You can Phenomenal. Eat, uh, like, no, no, no. We're good. We're good for now. Remember, we have to keep it light right now. 20 dishes. This cauliflower 65. Yeah. Cauliflower fried. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. You know, I haven't really tried that many cauliflower dishes before like this. This is number one on my list. No, for real. Usually it's just basic. Mm, it's delicious. Have some breading on top. Mm, salad. Oh, another spicy, delicious dish. Shall we move to the mutton? Let's do it. Mutton dosa. Mutton dosa. Yeah. Mutton dosa here. <laughs> okay. Actually, they did it specially for these uh, decorations. <laughs> oh, they did? Thank you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right there? Yeah. Oh, Oh my god. It's like a super thick, this almost tastes like an egg, like a scrambled egg. But it's basically a, a huge piece of mutton turned into this gigantic patty. Under it, you have the dosa. Right there, right? Oh, and yeah, it is eggs. You can see the eggs. Chicken sauna. This is strange to say, this is, almost tastes like a crab cake. A really, really big crab cake. Look at this crab cake. <laughs> mutton cake. <laughs> Dude, my face is dripping how hot it is. <laughs> this is this chicken kappa. Chicken kappa. Yeah. I need my hand for this one, right? Like, uh, do you want like mutton gravy or chicken gravy? Chicken gravy. Okay. Oh, so this is like a, a stuffed crab. Yeah, like basically. Dip it in. Stuffed crab. Oh, wow. See the layers of dough right there? Lots of layers. And you have, yeah, the mutton right here. Oh, and you dip it. One more bite, one more bite. It's so good. You can just finish it off. 
No. <laughs> no, cabbage. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Ch same one? Yeah, chicken kappa. Oh, chicken chicken kappa will try the mutton gravy. Wow, look at that. Mutton gravy, the chicken. What is chicken? Gravy? Chicken topita. Mmm, layers of dough. Like, it's like layers. Wow. It's basically a dosa that has been wrapped up with chicken, yeah. in a way. It's funny how you guys love pancakes here. Sorry, doses. <laughs> and what is this? Is this noodles? Yeah. This, this reminds me of like a Chinese dish. Like super thin noodles, white noodles right here. Some of that there. And you just grab some of this. Oh, like, you want to take it on the right? So put more gravy on it? I was going to take a big bite. Big. Oh my god. Noodle taco right here. It's bunny gravy, so there's a lot of little bones in it. But it's awesome. It has this little stringy consistency. Oh, like as you can see, just noodles. It looks like a pancake in a way. Nice little layer. Mm. Yeah, I am so full right now. And the last thing we have here is biryani. With that? More mutton? The only problem with the, with the mutton biryani is that you can see there's lots of bones in there. It's cooling me down. I need more of this. I really need a lot of this. The onions, yeah. it's crazy that onions really help you chill and like calm down the palate from the burn. Mm. I like this, but I like the one from yesterday more. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, I'm good with this because I already had a few, so I don't need that. That's it? That's yeah, our feast? That's our. Whoa! That's our <laughs> I am full! <laughs> and I'm, I'm on fire right now, I'm on fire! I'll tell you, the one thing I loved here was the brain. The brain. Nothing like the brain. They're like, if you have this chili right now, they're giving the whole uh, meal free. Yeah? yeah? For free? Yeah. Oh man? So yeah. ask him, ask him. <laughs> Hell no. Crazy! This guy's gonna kill me. It's called El Nair Cake. Elner cake? Yeah. Okay. Like a uh, like uh, it's similar like uh, coconut pudding. Oh my god. So it's, is it coconut pudding inside? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> See? Wow. The cake. So this basically tastes like the inside of the coconut. But on the bottom you can see there's like a layer of gelatin. It's like pure gelatin here. Mmm. I love the mix. There's a very good contrast here between the gelatin and the coconut. Wow. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't have any more. <laughs> mm. This was such a massive, muddy, spicy feast. I can't remember the last time I had a feast this spicy. I mean, just every dish had different flavor, but the most common thing of the night was that everything was so spicy. Me, Sam, and this guy all couldn't take it. I mean, it was just too much. But I mean, I'm sure you're gonna ask them to cool down, but in India, usually when it's spicy, it's spicy, you know? So, but I loved it. My favorite thing was probably the brains and the intestines and the dessert, which is like, oh, phenomenal. Hmm. I mean, guys, we had an amazing meal. I hope you love this video. Next time you visit India, come to Chennai and Tamil Nadu and try some delicious food. Non-veg here, spicy, and just food that'll blow your mind. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Follow this guy on Instagram. Subscribe to Sam and Audrey. Subscribe to me, and I'll see you on the next travel food adventure in incredible India. It's, it's really incredible. It really is. Boop.